We're just going to do a little uh, doodling today. Um, no major projects, no major um, learning to be done here, I don't think. Uh, welcome to the art project. Thanks for clicking on my video. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, maybe even hit that little bell at the top so you'll get um, some uh, future notifications whenever I post more videos. So it's just a kind of a lazy Sunday afternoon and I'm in my studio and I wanted to do a little doodling. Actually, I wanted to do some drawing or some painting. Um, and I started off by watching some Peter Draws videos. I highly recommend you watch Peter Draws if you haven't already. He's got a great YouTube channel. And so, inspired by him and nothing else to draw, I decided to go ahead and uh, open up my sketchbook and get started. Uh, I didn't really know what to do, and one of the things that I do when I don't know what to do is I grab something random and I trace it and so I grabbed a roll of tape and made a little circle in the middle of my paper and initially I was going to just doodle inside of the roll of tape and that would be it but I decided to keep on going um, there's nothing particular here except um, some darks and lights and some little shapes to do the darks and lights around a lot of organic shapes here and then I decided on the other side of the little lines that I drew to do something that was a little bit more like cloth that was kind of wrinkled um, that was my inspiration anyway um, I wanted to create some depth in the cloth and some raised areas and so I just did some hatching and cross hatching until I had built up the darks and the lights the way that I uh, thought that they should um, also wanted to get some close ups of the pen as it went across the paper because it really does just make some um, beautiful marks it's I don't know it's just fun to watch the pen as it makes marks unfortunately um, I don't do very many videos where I slow down the process uh, slowing down the process means much longer video and the longer the video the um, the more bored people get with it I guess I don't know so uh, from time to time I'll make some videos maybe that um, that I don't speed it up uh, this is about 16 times the normal speed so um, <clears throat> you don't have to waste your whole afternoon watching one of my videos anyway um, so I just kept building up the lines uh, basically the way hatching and cross hatching works if there's a lesson to be had here is the paper's already white and the more uh, marks I put the more I cover the white up and from a distance your brain fills in the information and kind of blurs the idea of lines and it just creates um, grays so for those of y'all not familiar with hatching or cross hatching this is how you shade with a pen and it doesn't have to be an artist pen it can be any kind of pen you can do it with a sharpie pen or a ballpoint pen or anything um, then I decided on the outside this is where I decided to keep on going and on the outside I did more of a little organic thing and then I decided I wanted some geometric um, to uh, contrast with the organic so I drew the lines with the ruler so I've got geometric and organic against one another. Now, I've got some new glasses. I've had them for a while. And the glasses are bifocals. Which means that I can um, look through the bottom of the glasses to be able to read better. But looking through the middle of the glasses helps me to see distances better. And so it's really kind of awkward to look through a pair of uh, bifocals uh, and and draw because I have to kind of like look down my face look down my nose at my book um, which is not what I'm used to doing 
and I've had these glasses for a while now, but I've never really experienced it on this level. And so I'm wondering if it wouldn't be better just to get some reading glasses for when I'm drawing. If any of you out there have any experience with this, please let me know down in the comments because as I was drawing this, I got a serious headache. And I don't know that it was because of the glasses. Maybe it was. Um, but it also might have been the way uh, the book and the light and the uh, camera and the tripod were all in front of my face and I was having to... Uh, squint and uh, focus past the uh, tripod and the camera to look at the paper but it was just kind of excruciating and the pen that I'm using which by the way is one of my favorite kinds of pens the uh, Sakura Pigma uh, Micron Sakura Micron Pigma I'm not sure what it is anyway one of my favorite pens wasn't writing very well so this whole thing was kind of a, a real task but anyway, the the picture turned out pretty cool. Um, normally it would be very therapeutic, but having to look at it strangely and um, work with a pen that I didn't like um, or that wasn't working very well got old. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope it was helpful. Um, now it's your turn. Go make some art.